Hello and welcome to Cards by Kendra. Have you heard about Craft Roulette? It's a paper craft challenge show where the goal is to complete a project that has been randomly selected by the spin of a wheel. There's four categories with 24 possible options for each, and these include project, colors, element, and random. The show is live every Friday night at 6.30 p.m. Central on YouTube, and I will be joining as the special guest crafter on Friday, February 25th. I hope you'll head on over to the Craft Roulette YouTube channel after this video is over so you can subscribe and turn on that reminder so you'll be able to join me. I'm super excited, but I'm also a little nervous. I've crafted along with Mary and her special guests now for the past few weeks, and I have yet to finish a card before the end of the show. So I'm going to have to get a little bit faster, but here are the parameters for episode 100, which include a double tag, chocolate plus three colors, affection, and tissue paper, or vellum. And I started this project during the episode, and then I thought I would share the process of how to put this together now that I have all, the, all of the components and everything stamped and cut out. I started out with this stamp set by Pink and Main called Take the Cake. I really like this taco and avocado here and the sentiment that says we go together like dot 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 <laughs> and I bought these little miniature Tabasco sauces. I had planned on making a bunch of Valentines with those but I didn't have enough time so these fit almost perfectly inside these little lip balm holders by MFT stamps. But originally I thought I was going to make a tag and then I realized that the stamp I wanted to use wouldn't fit on it. So I decided just to use a regular card base. And so I used this die here to cut out the rectangle piece on the left hand side of my card base. And I went ahead and I stamped my little taco and avocado directly on the card base and I colored them in using some Copic markers. And so to pull in the chocolate plus three colors, I've got his little mustache that I colored in chocolate brown and then the two tags. I cut out the tags using some pattern paper, some polka dot pattern paper, and so I have the green and the yellow tags here, and then I'm also going to be pulling in some red polka dotted paper for the frame. I stamped the sentiment in brown ink because I wanted to pull in some more of that chocolate color, and then I cut that out using a strip die, and then I cut out a little heart out of that red polka dot pattern paper to, to add on to that yellow tag. And so that the bottle will stay inside of the card, it needed another panel cut. So in order to get that out, I cut out or I trimmed down a piece of um, heavyweight cardstock that I cut to four and an eighth of an inch by five and three eighths of an inch. And then I added a pull tab with this other die here. I'll link uh, all of the products that I'm using in the description box down below in case you're interested. So now I'm going to stamp the word tear from this little interactive stamp set that's also from MFT Stamps. And I'm going to stamp this out using some black memento ink and an acrylic block. The stamp is so tiny it's kind of hard to get a hold of here. But um, the, the tear won't fit vertically so I had to turn the, um, the strip to the side so that I could stamp it on there. But anyway, it's mainly just to let people know, hey, you can pull this up and get the Tabasco sauce out without tearing up the whole card. So just to check them to make sure that I followed all of the parameters, I've got my double tags. I pulled in my chocolate plus the three colors, which is red, yellow, and green. The affection part is them holding hands and the hearts. And so what I still need to do is the tissue paper. And so because the Tabasco bottle doesn't quite fit in that lip balm holder, I'm going to use this tissue paper and I'm going to ball it up and stick it in the bottom. Now, even though this is Christmas tissue paper, you won't be able to tell. The color kind of matches the little taco, and I'm just going to cut out a little piece here. I'm not quite sure how much I need. This may be way too much, and once I bought it up, yes, it's definitely way too much. So I'm just going to um, cut this down a little bit, but to speed things, I'm going to speed things up now, and um, we'll put everything together.
to attach the lip balm pouch, I'm using 1 8 of an inch double sided tape. And because this is going to be attached on the bottom side of the top of the card base, I'm applying these strips here along the top of the lip. Now I'm going to attach this panel here with the tear tab. I just I want to make sure I don't put any glue on the tear strip, so I'm just going to apply the liquid glue along the edge here, and then I have plenty of room on the right hand side to apply more glue to help hold it in place. But this helps to cover up the Copic marker that bled through since I stamped that directly on the card base. And now I'm gluing down the window frame. And then next I need to attach the sentiment on top of one of these tags here. I decided to go with the green. And so I'm just kind of positioning them how I want them so that I'll know where to glue the, the red heart. And I'm putting that on the yellow tag. And then before I glue these down, I'm taking some red and white Baker's twine. And I'm running that through the holes and I'm just going to make a knot. I don't think I want a bow here. And then after, um, after that, I'm just gluing these tags in place on top of the card. And then I'm going to trim off this excess twine. Now for some finishing touches, I'm adding some Nuvo Crystal Drops in morning dew to the heart on the avocado. This does dry clear, but it just makes it shiny. And now I stared at this card for a long time after I finished it and I couldn't figure out what it needed, but I decided to add a few more things off camera. So here is the finished card. I just added some black stitching around the edge of the card and I put a shadow underneath the avocado and the taco with a gray Copic marker. And I think it turned out pretty cute. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget, I'm a special guest on next week's episode number 101, and that's at 730. I appreciate you guys watching. If you want to join in on the fun and try to have a chance to win some prizes, you can create a card. I'll put a link to craftroulette.live in the description box, and I hope to see you guys next Friday. Have a great day.